This is the story of how I voice acted an orange. I know what you're probably thinking. Why would I do something so terrifying? Well, I'll tell you. It all started on a day I like to call. Voice activation. Please. Please. Voice activation. No. I don't want to. Voice activation. Despite the obvious call to adventure that was given to me, I came up with every excuse I could muster to not voice act an orange. Voice act an orange? That's ridiculous. I have way too much actual work I need to do today. Besides, I don't even know how to voice act an orange. It's never been done. I will never voice act you. <laughs> and so I went about my morning. I ate breakfast, brushed my teeth, stretched and stroked my new orange. Maybe I will voice act you. But as soon as I entered my booth to record, I met an unexpected mentor. Biblically accurate orange, the legends are true. Indeed, and I have a special request for you. I need you to voice act- An orange? Yes, an orange! Oh, great! I was actually just about to do it. No, you are not ready. You must complete three trials. Only then will you be ready. Oh, awesome. There's trials. Okay. The first trial. You must drink an entire glass of orange juice. That's it? With pulp. <sighs> What's next? You must purchase some cheap orange merchandise! No, please, anything but that! The final trial! You must voice act an orange! I need to voice act an orange to voice act an orange. Yes! While repeating a phrase 300 times. Okay, what's the phrase? Hey, it's me. I'm an orange. Hey, it's me. I'm an orange. Don't speak those words yet! You must prove you! First. Okay, sorry, sheesh. So if I do these three trials, then I can voice act an orange? Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana! Banana? As the biblically accurate orange faded away, I was confused. But I knew what I had to do. I ran to the store and returned home with my quarry. The most pulpy orange juice money can buy. And even as I choked the disgusting nectar down my gut, I felt powerful, nay, unstoppable. I could sense my dietary fiber levels rising throughout every fiber of my being. I was on track to voice act an orange, all right. That evening, while I perused the internet for cheap orange merchandise, an unexpected trial stood before me. Hello, Mickey. What the citrus? Who are you? You're not an orange. I'm Caroline the Clementine. Word in the fruit basket is, you're gonna voice act an orange. Yeah, I am. I was actually just about to buy some cheap orange merchandise. You know, oranges can't really be trusted. What? What, it, what do you mean? Many people find the color orange to be offensive and insensitive. Well, aren't you the color orange? You really should voice act me! Think about it! I'm like an orange, but smaller and sweeter! What does that have to do with anything? A clementine skin is easier to peel than an orange's! What? Please! Don't voice act the orange! Voice act me! I love you! For the next few days, while I waited for my awesome orange merch, my friendship with the orange blossomed. My wife said she was beginning to notice a change within me. According to her, I spent too much time with that stupid orange, and it was coming between us. I personally didn't see a problem. 
what does she know about voice acting in Orange anyways? Finally, after three whole days of waiting, the package arrived. And as I girded my chest loins with a cheap orange t-shirt, I realized something. This wasn't just about voice acting in Orange. It was about becoming one. I didn't need to change my voice. I just needed to change my perspective. That's all voice acting is, after all. I spent the next five hours recording and editing 300 entirely different takes of an orange. It's a me, an orange. Wahoo! Hey, it's me. I'm an orange. And at exactly the 200th take, something changed within me. Hey, it's me. I'm an orange. The pulpy orange juice, Caroline the Clementine, the cheap t-shirt, Everything in my entire life had led me to this one moment. Hey, it's me! I'm an orange! And at exactly the 300th take, I realized something. Hey, it's me! I'm an orange! Suddenly, everything made perfect sense. I was the biblically accurate orange. This is the story of how I voice acted an orange. And now, I get to do it for the rest of my existence. <laughs>